Today was one of those days where your garbage can, or at least the lid to your garbage can, uh, could easily blow down the street. And it's still the case tonight as our wind gusts are pretty much between 20 and 40 miles per hour in many cases around the area. We have a 30 mile per hour wind gust registered at the top of the hour here in Pittsburgh, 25 for Wheeling, 25 for Latrobe, 18 for Butler, nearly 30 mile per hour wind gusts in Connellsville as well. And through the night, these winds are going to continue to whip. So it's going to be one of those last outer nights, all thanks to these winds that are going to continue to gust 20 to 40 miles per hour through tonight and into tomorrow morning. Now, during the afternoon, we'll start to see these let up a little bit, but I think it's going to be a pretty windy day start to finish tomorrow. And then into tomorrow night, we'll start to get the winds calming down as high pressure builds in here. As it stands right now in Pittsburgh, we have 38 degrees, but it only feels like 29. That's because it is so windy. The sustained winds or the consistent wind speed is 16 miles per hour out of the west northwest but you get those gusts and that's making the big difference so you get the feels like temperature the wind chill as a result which is right around 30 degrees in most cases what it feels like right now but most of us are looking at wind chills by the time we wake up tomorrow morning down easily into the 20s here in pittsburgh it's going to feel like the low to mid 20s early on in addition to that the sprinkles on top snow showers and you see that line of snow showers especially up north of pittsburgh that's going to continue to fall and then we get some activity that's trying to develop up in the ridges as well. This is all because of that flow coming off the lake. So we're getting those winds that are cold coming off of Lake Erie, setting us up with these scattered snow showers. And in some cases, it's going to leave some light accumulations on elevated surfaces like car windshields, back decks, and grass. Now, temperature-wise, early tomorrow morning, low 30s. And it's going to stay in the 30s even into the afternoon. So rain and snow, both possible into the afternoon. That'll transition to some sprinkles as the warmer air starts to lift in here tomorrow night, and then we're going to clear those skies out. The clear skies early Saturday are going to lead to some frosty conditions early Saturday, but plenty of sunshine through the day, and sunshine in April is a beautiful thing because it really helps those temperatures warm up, and we are looking at temps in the low to mid-50s, but while that's lower than average after the cold start that's a nice rebound and we're going to continue that rebound into easter sunday where our temperatures make it into the mid 60s now here on future cast it shows an early shower if we see anything early on easter sunday It'll be an isolated sprinkle. I think the best chance for rain is actually later on in the day. So your forecast goes like this. Tomorrow, rain, snow, wind, a little more what we're dealing with right now. But into Saturday, we see things quiet down. We bring back sunshine, temps low to mid-50s, mid-60s by Sunday. And that's with mostly cloudy skies. Later in the day is your best chance for rain. And then Monday, showers and thunderstorms scattered around. And that's going to lead to a much colder setup, much like we have right now, as we head into this time next week and with the showers the storms the snow the hail you can all track it on the kdk weather app it's a free app in google play or the app store and it has a bunch of tools to help you track this weather and interactive radar hour by hour forecast daily forecasts and a whole lot more